What's going on you guys, Nick from Free Out Fitness here. As I was going through the video files to edit this video, I noticed I didn't do an intro. So, I'm doing the intro the next day. Let's get into today's video. We did some legs, hamstrings, squats, RDLs. Let's just get into the video clip, stick around to the end as I talk. As always, let's get into the video. This is a Chucky Beat production. That's that suck. I'm trying to use a belt to help brace myself because I'm feeling. Uh, I'm just, my back's feeling a little tight, my hips are feeling tight. So I know it's not relatively heavy weight, but I'm just trying to use that that belt to help brace myself. Man, but that set was ugly. I can feel my I can feel myself just coming loose down in the bottom. But we're gonna try to hit it again. So this is a pretty sick hamstring exercise um, that my buddy IV Pro Chris McGowan showed me. But it's like a variant to a Roman deadlift. I'll show you guys how you do it here in a minute. Production. I really like doing this version of the Roman deadlifts over the actual regular barbell ones. I feel a lot more stable when I do it this way than with the barbell. I just don't know why, but I think it's because I can put all my body weight leaning backward uh, because you want a hip hinge almost like your, your ass is going to touch a wall. So I really like this exercise. It's awesome to hit those hamstrings. So just 
finished up here at our Myra Fitness Center. Man, my legs, my hamstrings, when I was showing you guys how to do those Romanian deadlifts there with that the uh, that barbell and like that handle attachment, my ham my hamstrings started to cramp up really bad. My glasses are fogging. My hamstrings started to really cramp up there at the end, and I tried to do some lunges um, and whatnot. And then normally at the end I do hamstring curls, but there was no way that was happening because like, just walking around my my hamstring was tensing up like crazy. And plus two here at Amaya Fitness Center, they do have leg extension and they do have hamstring curl. Um, but they're both always seem to be broke. Like the seat doesn't like to work on them. You'll be sitting in the chair and then your back will be, you know, going all the way. The uh, back piece moves, so like you'll be moving farther and farther away from the machine. So I'm really happy with the workout today. Did squats, but pretty heavy for what I've been normally doing. I've been doing the Jim Stepani uh, shortcut to size. And on his leg days, he usually does do higher reps with lower weight. So I went a little bit heavier today and did some lower reps, changing it up a little bit, and then threw in those RDLs. Definitely a good good leg day. You know, it was one of those type of days today where, you know, I was dreading going to the gym all day. You know, I was, like, thinking every excuse um, to not go to the gym. And normally, I get right up in the morning and I get going. But today, I don't know what it was, but I was just not feeling like going to the gym. And finally, it took me a while, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go. It's You know, I, I need to stop thinking about going. I just need to go and do it because the next time I don't want to go, it's going to make it that much more easier if you do go today. So I think it's like 3 o'clock or it was around 3 o'clock and I end up going. So, you know, the, the biggest thing or the biggest tip I can give to somebody, no matter what their goal is, if it's a job goal, if it's a, a career or, excuse me, not career, like a college goal, if it's a fitness goal, whatever goal, you just need to get moving towards whatever it is you want to do. I'm telling you, the hardest step, the biggest the biggest step and the hardest step you're ever going to make towards moving towards your goals is getting started. Once you get started, once you get in that routine, it's going to become easier and easier to keep going and keep doing it. Now, don't get me wrong, there's going to be days where you're not going to want to do what you need to do or not do what you need to get done in order to chase your goals, but, you know, just getting moving, just getting going, you know, and it, the biggest thing, you know, you hear a lot of people say the biggest critic or the biggest person that's going to stop you from reaching what you want to do is yourself. And, the, you know, that's absolutely true for most of the time. You know, like today, perfect example. I didn't want to go to the gym. Nobody was stopping me from going to the gym except myself. I just had to get over myself, you know, quit crying about it and go and do it. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, really, please. We've had a good amount of subscribers the last month, and I can't thank everyone enough for all the support they've been giving me, especially the people that, I, I call them the comment squad, because they're the people that are always commenting on my videos. Every single video I make, they're always commenting. So thank you to everybody that's been supporting me so much. I really do appreciate it. Also, too, I made an account on Body Space. It's called NDA776 on Body Space if you want to go follow me there. I have an account on an app called Pumped Up. That uh, username is Freak Out Fitness. And then also there's an app called Wheelos. W-E-I-L-O-S. Wheelos. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but it's another fitness app. And I have an account on there named Freak Out Fitness. So you guys can all follow me on that. And then, of course, my links to my Instagram and Facebook are down in the description. So go and feel free to follow me on that if you want, if you like my content and you want to keep following me. But thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day.